In this video, I got a comic book haul to show off to you guys, and I can check out more books on my Avengers Grail run. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with Swaggle Haas. And in this video, I'm going to share with you my recent comic book haul, and I got some Avengers books that I get to check off my Grail run, which is always really fun. But I'll also talk to you about why I think that in this current market, going to LCSs on Saturday is an absolute must. But before I get into the books for today and explain why I think that, if you guys could drop me a like or a comment or subscribe if you're enjoying my content, love interacting with you guys, help support the channel, do one of those things, and I would appreciate it. All right, with that said, uh, let us take a look at some of the books today today and talk about uh, what I was able to, to come out with. So uh, this last Saturday, I was able to go to uh, a couple LCSs and, uh, you know, I hopped around, dug, dug through some uh, bins and everything like that, and I found some really, really cool stuff. Uh, so let's start off with one of the bigger ones I got. This, of course, uh, is, you know, I'm working on my Avengers Grail run. For those who don't know, I'm trying to do one through 100. Uh, as, of right, as of the recording of this video, I'm around, I think I have, let's see, 30... 30 books or so uh, of the of the 100, so you know 30% done. Uh, but uh, I got three more here I can show you guys today. So this one is a really cool one. This is the first one I got. This is Avengers number 47, the first appearance of Dane. Whitman, who later becomes the Black Knight. So this one was really cool. I'm glad that I found this book. And this is one, you know, due to WandaVision especially, this one got really, really hot because because of uh, Wanda being on the cover with Quicksilver and Magneto. I mean, already it's a hot book because, uh, you know, Dane Whitman, we know that Kit Harrington is going to make an appearance uh, in the Eternals movie. So, so his books have been you know, heating up as of, as of late. But this one also has been getting hot because of that other WandaVision factor. Um, so this is one that I was really happy to find. Uh, I did have to pay what is effectively like FMV for this. I got this for $70, uh, you know, but the, if, you, if I look onto eBay, you could probably find a deal for this book around that same price. This grade is probably like a 3.5 or so. So, you know, like a VG minus, not not too great, but uh, not too bad as well. You know, for me, as long as the, the presentation of the cover is generally in good shape, as long as the cover is attached, centerfolds attached, uh, I'm happy as far as my grail run is concerned. So not too mad at this. Uh, definitely glad I have this one because I know later in the year when we get the Eternals movie and we see the Black Knight on the screen, uh, books like this one and the next one, number 48, are going to be uh, you know twice as expensive. So uh, definitely really happy I can check this one off the list. Uh, and uh, it'll be hard to see if I can, if I can find a number 48 before the Eternals movie comes out, but uh, hopefully I can. All right, the next one I got here is Avengers number 72. I got this one for $6. And this right here, Key Collector would tell you, is the first appearance of the Zodiac Cartel. Don't know anything about that, but I knew that I needed number 72. Uh, and this one was there uh, on top of the one that I, I just showed you guys. So I figured, hey, why not swoop it up? Seven bucks, I think, for, for a Silver Age book is always a pretty good deal. And uh, yeah, lucky to find this one uh, and check it off the list. The other book I got here is Avengers number 99. Uh, of course, in my last comic book haul video, I showed you guys that I got number 100. So I got number 99. Uh, I got this one. Uh, let's see what I played it for. It's $8. So again, not too bad. Uh, happy to get this one off the, off the list. Just kind of another filler book. You know, it's, it's good to get these fillers, especially when I can find them for, for really cheap. You know, I'm always checking the eBay prices in comparison to what the LCS is selling. And, uh, you know, th th this is twice as cheap as I could get it uh, on eBay. So for me, Got to pick it up in those situations. All right, the next book I got here is a really cool one. And this is where, you know, uh, the rubber hits the road for me as to why I think in this current market, we need to be going to LCSs on Saturdays. This one is actually Strange Tales number 159. And what is the significance of this? Well, this is the first appearance of Contessa Venezuela something 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 Fontaine uh, but for those who don't know uh, spoilers if you guys watch Falcon and the Winter Soldier this last week we saw a cameo appearance of Julia Dreyfus who is of course Elaine from Seinfeld and the character that she's playing is in her first appearance in this book, Contessa Fontaine or whatever. They even make fun, fun of the fact that her name is so hard to say. But uh, this one is a really cool one. And one of the reasons why, like, I, I, so I got this for $15. 
uh, that, that, that is uh, super, super cheap. And this one is actually like a seven. So it's a really decent grade for $15. And uh, this is where kind of like I want to say, you know, given this current market with like the spec that's coming out of, you know, shows like WandaVision and Falcon and Winter Soldier and what's happening with these episodes, like, you know, they, we get some information about the MCU and then the very next day, like uh, a certain book becomes like hot overnight. Like, well, for that reason, if you guys are, you know, out there who, and you you want to be hunting and you, you watch watch week to week these episodes, um, you know, for, for these shows, it feels like Saturday is the day that you got to find some time to go out there because, uh, the, the LCSs are not going to be able to keep up with the news that's going on in the current market. So for that reason, you know, getting books like this at really, really good deals before, you know, the market catches up uh, and, and everyone starts, you know, jacking up the prices, it, that, there's a huge opportunity for that. So when I went to the store and saw this book just sitting there in the bin, you know, I, I was like, oh my God, this is, a, this is a total, total score. So I was super, super happy to get this book. I didn't know anything about the character that Julia Dreyfus was playing, um, but and I, and I didn't really even know where her first appearance was, so I, I had to look it up. And finally, I uh, was able to figure this out. And when I came across this book, I was super, super excited about that one. I'm gonna to continue to show off my comic book haul to you guys in a second, but before I do, let's take a minute to talk about Key Collector App. What is Key Collector App? Well, Key Collector App is an app that allows you to find hot and key comic books just in the palm of your hand. So let's say you're watching Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and all of a sudden, Julia Louis-Dreyfus shows up saying that she's playing a character known as Constantina Fontaine. Well, you ask yourself, hey, what is her first appearance in? And you can pull up Key Collector App and search Constantine Fontaine and find out that Strange Tales 159 is her first appearance. And the best part about this app is that it's actually free to use, but there is a premium and subscription service. And if you use my promo code SWAGGLEHOSS, which you see on the screen there, you can activate this free service for two weeks. Yes, two whole weeks. You will get uh, access to hot key books and spec books and dollar bin dimes that you may want to know about uh, in this current market that you may want to use while you're out there hunting. So definitely check out Key Collector app and use my promo code SWAGGLEHOSS to get two weeks for free. All right, the next book I have here is one that I think is super, super cool. And this one is actually Amazing Adventures number 15, uh, first time that Beast is in his blue fur and also the first appearance of a B-tier villain known as the Griffin. I found this one for $10. Uh, it, is, it is graded at a seven, which is a great, great pickup, at least in my opinion. Again, this one is a really cool book. Uh, you guys know that I am a huge fan of B-tier villains. I talk about them all the time. And Griffin is about as B as it gets. And he actually made an appearance in Avengers Earth Mightiest Heroes, which is the cartoon show, which I told you guys about about uh, in a, a previous video. And so, I, you know, a character like him, I get really excited about. If I can always find like a first appearance, uh, even if it's like a character who's not that significant, like I still think it's worth a pickup uh, to get my hands on it, especially for 10 bucks. Uh, this is a lot cheaper than, than it would take for me to buy it on eBay. In addition to that, uh, I really like the fact that this is the first time we see Beast in his blue fur. I mean, I know that Amazing, Amazing, Avengers, number, uh, Amazing Adventures number 11 uh, is definitely like a, a really hot book for people who love Beast because that's the first time you see Beast in his fur for the first time. But this is the first time in blue fur. And I kind of feel like this is the, you know, this is the cooler book to own, in my opinion, because I feel like the blue fur is more iconic. Uh, so I, I don't really know. It feels like Amazing Adventures number 11, <laughs> Avengers, guys, I keep saying Avengers. Obviously, I have Avengers on my mind. Amazing Adve Adventures uh, number 11 is kind of the go-to book uh, when it comes to like Beast fans, because it feels like that book has gotten pretty hot. But this is the one that I think is the cool one to own. And on top of that, it's got the, 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 the bonus of Griffin. So I think this is a really cool book. Uh, number 15, amazing. I'm not even gonna say it because I'm just gonna say Avengers. All right, the next book I have here, a very, very cool one. This is Daredevil number 43. And this is just the classic cover of him fighting Captain America. Got this one for $12. Definitely a good pickup in my opinion. Uh, just an iconic cover. I love these old sort of Daredevil comic books. And th this one is actually really cool because, uh, you know, if you notice, um, first appearance of Battlestar, uh, who of course uh, made his appearance in the Falcon and Winter Soldier, uh, his cover has a very like a, a specific cover homage to this one. And this is, I believe this is the first time we've seen this rendition of this blocking of, of characters. So this was a really cool one for me to pick up. Just just, just kind of iconic. I love that people uh, cover swipe this all the time. So Daredevil number 43, very, very cool. Great pickup. 
All right, the next one I have here, very cool book. I've been looking for this one uh, for a good deal for a long time. And this is Rocket Raccoon, number one. Got this for $8. I've been trying to find this book, you know, hope... I, Ultimately, I always wanted to find this book in a dollar bin, but because of Rocket Raccoon's like you know uh, popularity as as of a late, it's uh, the, I, I see LCS is selling this for like you know twenty twenty five dollars all the time. So I finally came across a book that was being sold for eight dollars, and I felt like that was a respectable price. Uh, I wanted to get my hands on this book. I, I think Rocket Raccoon is awesome. Obviously, uh, this is the first time you're going to see Rocket Raccoon in the title. This was his first of a four issue miniseries, and I just think this is a very very cool cover. So very excited that I picked this one up. I uh, don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't know if I'm going to move this on. Uh, you know, some of these other books, I, I do think that I'm going to, you know, move into the world, like out in on sell on eBay and stuff. Like the uh, first appearance of uh, uh, Miss, Mrs. Fontaine, Madame Hydra. I'm definitely going to move that book. I mean, it's super, super hot right now. So I don't know what I'm going to do with the Rocket Raccoon one. Maybe I'll wait till Guardians 3 comes out and, uh, and move on with this book. All right, a couple more books here. The next one I got here is, hey, look. When, when we make second appearance videos and we talk about spec, uh, we believe the spec that we get. So I had to pick this one up here. Marvel premiere, number 16, second appearance of the Iron Fist. And of course, you know, if you guys didn't see, uh, I did a, com uh, a video series with Bryce Comics where we talked about second appearances. And one of the books that we talked about was the second appearance of Iron Fist being undervalued. This really is undervalued because I found this for $6. So the fact that I was able to get a second appearance of a, you know, I'd call him like a B plus tier superhero uh, for $6 raw. I mean, and this is still like a good grade. It's probably like a seven, um, you know, is, is a great deal in my mind. So this is one that I'm going to hold on to for spec. You know, I'm going to wait until... Iron Fist maybe uh, starts to get talked about or the market starts to you know jump on him once again uh, and then I will move on with this one but in the meantime I'm happy I found this book and uh, very very cool second appearance can't go can't go wrong with that uh, while I was digging in that section for Iron Fist and Power Man I also came across this one this one is Power Man and Iron Fist number 54 which I found for four dollars but what is cool about this is that this is actually the first time that they are recognized as being the heroes for hire, like the duo known as the heroes for hire. You can see it right there on the bottom. And I think that that's really cool. Like effectively, this is like the first appearance of, of their team known as heroes for hire. I mean, it's not the first appearance, you know, that they're, that they're teaming up like in the title, but uh, you know, if we do get Power Man and Iron Fist in the MCU, I do think like I could totally see them uh, doing that angle where it's like, it's a buddy, buddy cop duo and they are like a heroes for hire thing where they're like a, a, a mercy not a mercenary team i mean they're just heroes for hire so i could totally see a disney plus show being that and uh, when that happens if that happens i could see this book getting really hot so i felt like for four dollars worth picking up all right a few more books here uh, this one is really cool. This is Marvel 2-in-1, number five. And what is the significance of this? This is actually the second appearance of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Isn't that funny? Like this is this book right here, Marvel 2-in-1, number five, is the second appearance of the Gar Guardians of the Galaxy team. So I, I felt like th this book in particular feels very undervalued to me. I mean, we talk about second appearances being undervalued, but I think that this one in particular is especially undervalued because, you know, I come across this book uh, time and time again, and I, I feel like it's it's not very desired. You know, it, it doesn't re the numbers don't reflect that it's it's uh, it's it's a very desired book. But I still think it's really cool that this is their second appearance. Now, I do I do think it hurts the Guardians of the Galaxy team a little bit that you know the the, the roster of uh, people that we have in the James Gunn's film is a lot different than the original team. So uh, it, I'm thinking that if we do ever start to see some of these other characters like Vance Astro, uh, Yondu's in there, but you know he's 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 gone now. But if we if we start to see some of these original uh, Guardians of the Galaxy members pop up in the James Gunn's film, I, I think books like this can definitely heat up. So Marvel Two and One number five, second appearance of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Pretty cool in my book. All right, the next one I got here is Marvel Spotlight number seven. This is actually the third appearance of Ghost Rider. So in my video, I talked about second appearances uh, of Ghost Rider, of uh, Marvel Spotlight number six, and how I felt like that book was undervalued. Well, I actually already own that book. So when I came across this one, this one was being, again, sold for $8. And so when I came across this, Marvel Spotlight number seven, third appearance of Ghost Rider, I, I was like, I, I, can't, I can't pass this one up. I mean, this one, for sure, I got to get my hands on this. So uh, this one is really cool. I now own the second appearance 
appearance and the third appearance of Ghost Rider. Maybe one day I'll get my hands on the first appearance, but regardless, I know that when we get Ghost Rider in the MCU, it feels like we're gonna get him at some point. Uh, these books will will get hot. I mean, if if history and this current market, uh, you know, you can base like some of the you know your, your analysis on on values of books uh, based off what's currently going on. Uh, these second appearances and third appearances are definitely going to heat up once we get the character in the MCU. All right, two more books here, guys. All right, the next one I got here is Submariner number 19. And what is the significance of this? This is the first appearance of a character known as Stingray. Now, Stingray is a character who is, you know, he's definitely sea level. Uh, I've always kind of known of Stingray, but like, I, I don't know anything about him. You know, he's a character that looks pretty cool. You know, when I was a kid, I definitely thought he looked cool. Uh, but he made his first appearance in the Submariner run here in number 19. And and this is uh, one that I felt like, you know, it was being sold for $5. I was like, yeah, definitely, definitely picking that up for $5. So I thought that this was a cool score. Uh, I do think that we're going to get Submariner at some point in the MCU. And if we do get Submariner, then I, th I could definitely see us getting a uh, Stingray. You know, I, I kind of feel like Stingray relates to Submariner in the way that sort of like, you know, we get Falcon and, and Winter Soldier and Bucky relating to the Captain America universe. I feel like if we start to get some Submariner films, uh, characters like Stingray, uh, et cetera, Namorita will definitely be on the table. All right, and the last book I have here is actually a very, very cool one. This one is Warlock number 10. And what is the significance of this? Well, there's a few things here. This is actually the origin of uh, Thanos and Gamora. But more importantly, why I decided to pick this one up is that this is the first full appearance of a cosmic elder known as the Inbetweener. And uh, I've slowly been starting starting to, to try to get my hands on every cosmic elder appearance there is like i want i got the grandmaster i'm looking for a collector i got the runner you know i got the gardener uh, i now have the in-betweener i'm looking for you know uh, Master Order and Lord Chaos. You know, I, I'm I want to get my hands on all of these cosmic elders. I have the Living Tribunal, so you know, I, I I don't know about you guys, but I'm really starting to see. You know, the MCU is laying the foundation for these cosmic elders. You know, and I think that they're going to bring slowly but surely all of them in. I mean, we've seen Ego make an, make an appearance already. There's been allusions to the Living Tribunal. Uh, there's even been allusions to Eternity. I mean, in Guardians of the Galaxy two, uh, you know, Star Lord talks about how he's like, I can see it. I can see Eternity. I mean, granted, I think that that's just sort of like a wordplay, but I think that they're starting to like lay the foundations for these cosmic elders. And uh, the in-betweener in is another one of those that I think is really, really cool. So I've definitely been looking for this book. I found it for $15. It's a VG. Um, this one was really cool. Uh, this is one that I definitely had my eye on for a long time, uh, but I've never come across it. And then I finally did. And uh, I'm glad that I was able to pick it up. So first appearance of the in-betweener. Anyways, that is all I have for this video. That was my comic book haul. Let me know how you guys think I did. I think I found some really, really cool stuff. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the uh, first appearance of uh, uh, Contessa Fontaine. Like, what do you guys think about, you know, where she's going in the MCU? What are we going to see with her character? Uh, this book got super hot, so I I'm very, very tempted uh, to move it uh, right away. But uh, let me know. Do you guys think I should hold on to this for a little bit, and you know, to see where the character goes? Uh, let me know what you guys think. Drop me a like, comment, or subscribe if you're enjoying the content and I will see you in the next video.